uh, let's have a look at my favorite part, Super Coach segment, lads. Uh, the value Super Coach players from round one of the Big Bash. So uh, we're going to have a look at who's going to make us some money uh, through round two, who did really well but was really cheap as well. So uh, who's your uh, value performer in the Big Bash at the moment for Super Coach, Leo? Yeah, it's got to be Tanvir Sanger for me. Uh, I think he has the second highest break even at uh, minus 35. So for those who don't know, the lower the break even, the better, because that means yep. the more cash you essentially make and you're more of a, a value pick. Uh, so he looked yep. like the Thunder's most dangerous bowler against the Heat. He took three from 21 and scored 94 super coach points. So look, if he keeps that up, he'll... He, could definitely reach another 100,000 um, over the next week or so when they play. Uh, so he's got to be my pick going forward. You need him in your team. He's an absolute must. Uh, who do you think he stats is, guy? Yeah. Uh, I was going to go Mitch Webson. So similar price. He's gone up to 103,000. Um, he, he must have started a very similar price to Sanger. Uh, Swepson was 72,000. So he's already gone up 30,000, which is awesome. Got 162 points uh, and the... Uh, was it the third most uh, score in round one of the Big Bash Super Coach? So that's bloody awesome. Uh, amazing quicker ball. He sort of improved, I reckon, in that quicker ball through the gate and got a couple of bold wickets. He had three for 23 and two for 26 uh, in his first two games. Uh, as Leo mentioned, a break even is really important. And Swepson has the best break even by an absolute mile. He's got a minus 70 break even. So I think if you have to bring him in your team, even if he gets one wicket in one of those matches, he's going to get a couple of points. Even if he actually just gets a few dot balls. He's going to get easily uh, a massive, massive total added to his uh, price. So I think he's a must-have in Supercoach at the moment. Really good form. I think he was a bit out of form probably the last couple of years. He's got his confidence back. He's got the headband. I don't know if you guys seen the sort of <laughs> ninja-like headband. Uh, they were talking about talking him up on the commentary, and uh, I think that's helping him a little bit as well. So uh, 103000 is a must-have in Supercoach and really, really cheap for a classy bowl like him. Who's your uh, go-to here for Supercoach, Marcus? Uh, well, I've got Cooper Connolly from the Perth Scorchers. Uh, just a young kid, only at 82,900. Um, yep. And he scored 87 points in round one. Even though they had the double round, he pretty much only played one game because of the the, the pitch yeah. down in GMHBA. So he finished with figures of one for 11 off two overs and opening the batting against the Stars, made a quick 20 off nine balls. So even though 20 is not the biggest score, He's still got those extra points for the strike rate, uh, a couple of yep. boundaries here and there. And the fact that he can chip in with uh, the ball for a couple of overs, um, I think for someone who's that cheap, you just got to get him into your team. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. 82, I thought he would be a bit more than that. Uh, especially there's just WA are producing so many young guys, young all-rounders that are going to be playing in Australia white ball cricket for a while. I reckon you've got, uh, you got who else? You've got Hardy, obviously. You've got, uh, Cam Green's from there as well. You just they're just producing. Mc, McKenzie absolute, was also uh, brilliant. McKenzie with the ball in hand. Yeah, he, he's uh yeah got a couple of wickets at the G. Uh, that was against the Stars, so we put a bit of an asterisk on that. Uh, when the uh, Big Bash comes back next week, we're definitely going to hone in on that Stars game for some uh, Super Coach players, I reckon, because <laughs> that'll be for an sure. interesting one. 